Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a quick little video. This isn't really makeup related, but I thought you guys might enjoy this. So I just thought I would film my 2019 perfume collection. So I used to definitely have a few more products in my collection and I've been trying to use stuff up so that it doesn't go bad, but I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what I have because I really do love the scents that I do have and I recently picked up a new scent during the Sephora sale as well so I wanted to update you guys on what was currently in my perfume collection. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my favorite fragrance of all time. This is a brand new box. I haven't opened this yet. I picked it up during one of the Ulta 20% off coupons and this is a bottle of Dolce & Gabbana light blue and this is the 50 ml size and I really like this scent. It is like one of the best fresh scents in my opinion. I've smelled a lot of fragrances in my lifetime. Obviously I'm sure you have too but I love this one so much and this has really great memories attached because my mom also wears this fragrance and I can't remember if I discovered it and then we both started wearing it or what happened. Um, but yeah, we've both worn this fragrance for well over a decade now and I'm so happy I have a backup. So when I finish up some of the ones that I have open, I'm definitely going to be digging into this guy. The next fragrance I picked up is this one and this is Chanel Chance and I really like this fragrance. Again, it's a really great like fresh smell. I love fresh fragrances so so much and this one has a few other colors. I don't know what those ones smell like. I think those are more like floral notes but this one is definitely green and fresh smelling and I really really like it. You guys will see that I'm gonna say the word fresh quite a bit and yeah this is like one of my again favorite fragrances as well in my collection. Another fragrance that has a great memory attached is this guy and this is my Versace Bright Crystal. Again I think this has a beautiful fragrance attached to it as well and this is the fragrance I wore on my wedding day and the reason I picked it was because I love this fragrance so so much. As you can see I don't have a whole lot left. I don't think I'm like a sentimental enough person where I would keep this bottle once I was done using it but yeah I do plan on using this up hopefully this year but I've had it for a long time and it's just such a fun floral fresh scent. Oh my god, I just love this fragrance so much and it does last on my skin for quite some time as well. Okay, so this next one was definitely a purchase based on the packaging. This is Moschino Fresh Couture. It was like the packaging like a Windex bottle. Obviously, you can spray it like this. The lid does come off. And this is an interesting smell. It's not really like my favorite fragrance, but... I'm glad I have it and I do plan on using this up at some point and this is a 50 ml bottle and it's super cute, definitely fell for the packaging on that one. The next fragrance I really really love is this guy by Marc Jacobs and this is Marc Jacobs Pear. As you guys can see I've used up quite a bit of it and I do plan on panning this guy, panning or using it up this year hopefully. I love how this smells, again another great fresh scent oh my gosh and i know a lot of people love like daisy by mark jacobs but if i had to pick i would pick pear and it's so so good and this is really a cool bottle i think and this one is quite affordable as well i think it's like under 70 dollars for one of these bottles and you get let's see here you get 100 milliliters of product in here okay the next perfume i want to talk about is this guy this is the elizabeth and james French Grey Nirvana perfume and I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this because I really like Nirvana bourbon and I wanted to love one of the other fragrances too because I didn't like the black or the white and I didn't like the red one and then they came out with this and an amethyst I think. I didn't like amethyst. I had smelt this in a sample and I have the impression that I like this fragrance but honestly I don't really love it so much and these went on like super sale very recently too. I don't know if you can still buy these on sale or full price or whatever. I don't know if they were like discontinuing these scents so they could make room for new ones but I don't love this. I kind of feel like I should put this on my Poshmark and let somebody else have it that might enjoy it. Yeah we'll see. I don't know. It's not one of my 
favorite fragrances. Another one, since we're talking about non-favorites, is Chloe Rose, or what is this called? Something Rose. Rose de Chloe. And the reason I bought this, I think, is because of Casey Holmes. She talked about how much she loved this fragrance. And it's sort of fresh, but it's definitely a heavy rose. And sometimes this can definitely give me a headache. So if you aren't a fan of rose, I would not pick this up. And also, this was a very expensive fragrance because I bought this giant bottle, which is... 2.5 fluid ounces or 75 ml so there's a lot of product in here I know this part is supposed to be like shiny and I can clean that up but I'm totally considering putting this on Poshmark too because I just don't wear it enough and it was too expensive for me to just like let it sit on the shelf and gather dust Another perfume that I feel like is so, so famous, but I kind of bought it because of the hype or like I asked for this actually. Um, my um, husband's family bought this for me one Christmas and this is YSL Black Opium. I don't completely hate it, but it's definitely one of those like evening heavy scents that you're going to want to wear kind of when you're like wanting to feel like sexy a little. It's definitely a very sexy, heavy fragrance, very floral. This is a 30 ml bottle and this is a pretty pricey perfume as well. And I don't think I would repurchase this, but I do have it in my collection. And the last perfume I wanna show you guys is the newest one in my collection. This is Gucci Flora gorgeous gardenia and this is a limited edition um, version of it and I smelt this at Sephora the other day when I was shopping for the VIB sale and I just really like the smell it's like floral but fresh uh, which is, seems to be like my jam it was nice to smell it in person and I kind of like walked around the store with it and really thought about it and I didn't purchase it online which was great so I really like this they also had another one that smelled just as good and I was totally considering buying that one too but I decided to just get the one and enjoy it okay I totally almost forgot to show you guys this but I also have this fragrance this is a limited edition Moschino fragrance from their collab with Sephora and I love this fragrance so much. It literally smells like sunscreen. And I will never get rid of this packaging because it is so freaking adorable. But yeah, I love the scent of this. Definitely smells like a yummy summer day. So I'm so excited that I bought this when I did because I had no idea what it smelled like and it turned out that I absolutely loved the scent so lucky me anyway guys that is everything for my 2019 perfume collection let me know your thoughts down below leave me your favorite fragrance down in the comments I would love to read through them and see what kind of fragrances or scents you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one soon bye guys